Thank you. How are you doing? Good, good, thank you. Yeah. Um, how much are you looking forward to these games? Yeah, really looking forward to it, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I'm buzzing to get going now. Um, just been waiting, obviously, because we've had the last two results been quite positive, so we're just um, preparing to go again now um, on yeah. Saturday. So. Scotland, though, will surely be out for revenge after the 3 0 results in Dublin? Yeah, I'd expect them to, to feel a bit um a bit hurt after the last day and I think um they should probably feel like that so we're gonna expect obviously um a fast game and stuff but we're looking forward to it and I think um I think yeah we're all up for it and, and just yeah, we're able to go. The big crowd at Camden Park that would be quite a challenge. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a good experience. Um nothing that I suppose we haven't faced before. I think like the last day of the Aviv you know, against Scotland the atmosphere was Something I've never experienced, so um, I don't think uh, I don't think they'll they'll be able to match that that atmosphere over in Hamden, to be fair. So. And how close do you think you are to starting? Too early in the week. It's a bit too early, yeah. I think we've only had one session, so um, no, nah, hopefully I can play um, and contribute to the team. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's up to the gaffer, obviously, but um, yeah, no, hopefully I can feature um, in some sh- way, shape, or form, yeah. And how would you assess the way the the team has evolved and? Indeed, the, the Nations League groups of that. Yeah, I think um, obviously, you know, we didn't get off to a great start. I think everyone knows that. But I think um, listen, I think we made some some good changes, you know, for the Scotland Ukraine game, and um, I think there has been a lot of positives overall um, the last couple of months and stuff. And um, I'm hoping we're we're starting to peak and starting to, to really get a bit of consistent form going now. Um, um, starting on Saturday, you know, to continue the last two games, I feel so. John Pan, please. If you just on that, in terms of your international, you played against Scotland and you played in Ukraine, you hadn't really been fully involved even in March. Like, did you always feel that you would break back in when part of the competitive pictures came around? I always wanted to play, I think, in the first place, but um, no, listen, I think football's ups and downs and um, you know players come into form and players fall out of form and stuff so it's, it's always changing and it's always evolving but for me um, I think obviously I came in early and maybe to be honest maybe some of my performances at the start of my own career maybe weren't up to scratch you know I don't think um, I was playing at club level quite often and stuff and now you know I feel like I'm I'm playing at club level uh, week in week out feel confident feel feel ready and feel like I'm after maturing I suppose so um, yeah, that's that's for me personally, but um, yeah. And just finally, just on that, like the influence on your career, just tell us a bit about Brian Potter, like how much of it has done the big thing, but was he honest with you in a way in terms of when West Brom came in that that was the best thing for you, that he couldn't probably guarantee anything? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think um, I think it just came to the came to that stage in my career. I think um, initially I stayed in for six months before going on loan to Preston, and um, I felt the club were um, how would I say interested in giving me more opportunity at the start of the window for um, but yeah, I didn't end up getting getting to play as much as I wanted at Brighton, so I went out on loan, and then I think it just came to a decision where. You know, obviously, Big came in from West Brom and they decided to take it. So, um, and it, yeah, I was I was happy as well. I think I was it, it was the right move for me. You know, I was twenty one and I need to get out and um, try and try and find myself and, and play regularly. So, Aiden, please. Hey, Jason, just on that move, when you left Brighton to get fourteen football, which you're getting, but the club the season hasn't gone to plan. Just talk through how difficult it's been over the last since the season started. Uh, yeah, it's been difficult, I suppose, because obviously we haven't got the results we want. But um, to be honest, I think you need a bit of luck in football. I just don't think we've had it. I think, listen, the table speaks for itself. And at the end of the day, we're in the business. You need to win games and climb up the table. But I think if if you've watched the 10 games, I think there's there's no way we should be where we are. But that's that's how it is. That's football. And we need to, there's obviously areas we need to, need to do better in. But yeah, Dara's um yeah, threat for set pieces and stuff, especially, you know, um uh, I've known Dara since I was a young lad, so to come up I feel like we have a good relationship with each other and um, obviously he's been captain now, um, a few games for West Brom this season, um 
he's doing really well. So um, no, yeah, Darren's a, a great lad, and I get on really well with him. So. Gavin. Yeah. Hey, Jason. Uh, one of the changes that was made maybe through the last window was you were brought into midfield. Um, can you talk about what does Stephen want from you in that role? Um, yeah, I think maybe he wants the same as what he wants from all the midfielders, I presume. But um, obviously, I think I had a bit of energy and a bit of um, aggression and, and legs and stuff. And um, yeah, I feel like you know I came in maybe against Scotland and probably I felt I'd done okay, I felt I'd done well. I was happy enough with my performance. Then Ukraine probably didn't affect the game as much, but I think um, you know we've probably maybe gotten away from from. What it is being Irish and you know showing that level of aggressiveness and desire and stuff because all of a sudden we're playing nice football and stuff. So I think it's just about finding the balance with that. So. Ed, Jason Hogan, you're a little bit critical of your early performances in the green jersey. Yes, when you came into the squad, it was a, it really was a crazy time yeah, within the squad with COVID, with a new manager, everything that's going on with players, you know. Huge numbers of players being dropped out of the squad. So, so how does it compare now the squad and from your personal point of view of arriving into the squad? Uh, compare then to now just coming into a sort of more settled team and, and you're obviously two, more, two years more mature. So how, yeah. how do you see it all? Yeah, obviously um, I think I'm a lot more mature now um, myself in every way, shape and form. I think um, you know, for me when I first came in to play with Ireland, I remember lining up against Finland and there's no fans and stuff in the Aviv and I think since I've been a young kid that, that's always been the goal to kind of play for your country and you always had a vision of you know packed out Aviv all this and then ended up playing I think 10-11 games with no fans for Ireland and it was just it was horrible so it was, it was something that you just the fans are so massive and Re- can really get the best out of you. I feel like with fans and stuff, and um, it's just an unexplainable feeling. I feel having fans gives you that extra boost as a player as well. So it's, it's total change now these days, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, with the fans, it's incredible. You know, like go back to last Scotland game, there's an um, incredible atmosphere and stuff. So um, yeah, they're vital, especially home games. It feels like. Paul. Just uh, one question. You've got the permanent move now after being out on loan from Brighton to a few clubs. How important mentally to know that you're settled down for a few years at one club and you can push on? And you think you've improved in the last few months since having that sort of stability? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I've had a good start to the season, to be honest. I've been, I've been quite happy where I've done personally recently. So, um, yeah, I think the, the move has helped. Um, you know, it can be quite a daunting experience being young and sort of unsure about your future whether it be loan moves here or there and not really knowing where, where you're going to be living and different stuff so um, I think that side of it kind of gets left out of it and um, yeah I'm just happy that you know I'm somewhere where I'm enjoying living um, I love the club I think it's a great club and um, yeah and everyone's lovely around the place so I'm really happy at West Brom so Alright Thank you Jason Thank you Do you look back at those games Oh yeah, absolutely. The crowd, um, the crowd is just incredible. Like you get for for a player, that's what you dream of, isn't it? And it was, um, like I said, it was a really strange experience. That I, me personally, I didn't really feel like I've played for my country with no fans because it was just it was something that yeah, it just felt so strange because obviously no fans and I didn't really feel like I've. I've just went out and played for my country, so. Finally from Philip, please. Uh, Jason, two very quick ones. Uh, 14 caps, you do a goal. Yeah, I suppose it's two goal, yeah. yeah. It's something to bring to your head, you know, you mentioned about cribbling more, but that's something you maybe get out to your head. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. 14 caps, no goals. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, the second thing is, I'm not sure whether you connection, but I don't think it'll but they're a home team that will go into the weekend. Yeah, 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 I've seen that, yeah, no, it was really good, um, things are looking good for Waterford at the minute, they're doing well, and obviously a great win over Dundalk and stuff, so hopefully they can get a good draw, I'm not sure if the draw's been made, has it? has been made, sure. yeah. Who did you go? Right, that's all right, yeah, well, um, Damien Duff going down to Waterford, so we'll see how he goes. You know what got you in the team? 
Uh, I know a few of the lads, yeah, a few of the young lads um, that I grew up with. Shane Griffin, I think, is oh, yeah, still there. So, so Griffo, I played with Griffo, yeah, growing up. So it's good to see these lads um, doing well as well at home. So. They get to the final, you've got to keep the Sunday, the November 13th clear. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Nice.